Why does being with my family make me feel like such a radical? Reg here and welcome to another episode of Food for Thought. This is a world This is a world premiere. This is a world premiere. I have been through a whole lot. Trial tribulation, but I know it's holiday time and traditionally in America that means being with family which can be a really mixed bag. We love our families and I only put that in quotes because sometimes that word is used without a real shared understanding of its meaning but more importantly regardless of our feelings towards our families or theirs towards us families serve multiple purposes, multiple functions in a society, and some of those functions don't have anything to do with love. We live in a society where there is a dominant class that is concerned with maintaining the status quo. And in order to do that, it's important that certain values and behaviors are also maintained. And sometimes this is a good thing. I wouldn't necessarily want to live in a society where we couldn't communicate because we didn't have agreed upon language or where disputes were typically settled through violence or where we couldn't share community through cultural traditions. For many of us, families are where we learn the basics of self-care, hygiene, social skills, work ethic, and so on. In short, families are where we learn how to survive. When we're talking about capitalism, however, when we're talking about patriarchy, we understand that not all of those values and behavioral norms are necessarily about survival, certainly not the survival of all of us. In fact, sometimes we see the reinforcement of norms that run counter to our well-being, like values that cause us to do things that harm the environment or negative or demeaning attitudes about race and gender and other types of injustice that are reinforced through the family. Having these attitudes that lead to behaviors that are harmful to the planet or harmful to other individuals reinforced through messages received in the household is particularly insidious because the targets of that messaging start hearing them as children before they've had the opportunity to formulate their own understanding of the world. What's important to understand is that the family serves a function for capitalism in a patriarchal society regardless of the benefits or detriments to any individual family or individual person or animal for that matter. It's part of the design. Louis Althusser in his Ideology and the Ideological State Apparatuses discusses how key institutions are used in tandem to maintain ruling class values and to suppress and dominate. He lists eight of these in his essay. The list includes religion, education, family, the legal system, the political system, trade unions, the media, and culture, which includes literature, arts, and sports. Is that all families are? Of course not, but the family is a place where dominant culture ideology, where capitalist values are internalized. And for that reason, when we're with family, that is not the time to turn off critical thinking, but to turn it up. We can use that as an opportunity to mitigate the effects of the family as a ruling class, as a patriarchal apparatus. And we do that by calling out contradictions when they reveal themselves. And we don't have to do it in violent ways. We can simply present counter views where once ideas were accepted as facts or laws. We can ask questions and model asking questions for young people who might be present, who might not have much to say now, but might themselves begin to develop doubts about things that just don't make sense. And we can do this without being disrespectful, intentionally hurtful, or making ourselves out to be know-it-alls, even though I'm sometimes guilty of all those things. 
That said, I hope you're enjoying whatever festivities you're a part of at this time of year, if any. Thanks for checking out this video. Like it if you liked it, and of course, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. I love myself.